When it comes to the most popular pick up and play cloud gaming platform out there, GeForce Now definitely takes the cake. With now almost 10 million members, the service will need to improve. If anyone has been wondering about the changes GeForce Now has been making since they got rid of the monthly $4.99 Founders price tier, well I've got some good news and some bad news for you. Stay tuned. Let's just get the bad news out of the way first. NVIDIA just released a blog post on March 18th explaining the changes they are making with the GeForce Now service. The most glaring change is the price increase along with this tier now being called Priority rather than Founders. The price was increased from $4.99 monthly to $9.99 monthly. You can also purchase an annual subscription at $99 a year. This will equal out to $8.33 a month to save some money. One thing to note about this is that the original Founders accounts are still active and have not changed in price. This means that if you are currently an owner of a Founders account, you will continue to have the same price per month going forward, just as long as you keep your account. Well that's it for the bad news. This is mostly a good news post and I'll tell you why. Let's go back to the March 18th blog post. Here they lay out exactly what they've been busy doing and where they plan to go with the service. Let's see exactly what this price increase money will be going to. There are a number of optimizations they are implementing on the service. One of these things is the adaptive V-Sync technology that synchronizes frame rates to 60 Hz at the server level to match the user frame rates. This should make gameplay a lot smoother and clearer, especially with lower quality connections. Another thing they're going to work on is making the third party sign-ins easier. If you are a consistent GeForce Now player and you play games from multiple different third party platforms, you'll be happy to know that they are working on linking accounts for key games. This should be implemented in the next one to two months. They are also trying to implement a game preload that would reduce loading times in half. Now the most important part of this news article, I think, is the new data centers and capacity. Of course expansion is necessary since GeForce Now's popularity is skyrocketing. So they're adding a data center in Phoenix, Arizona and also their first data center in Canada, located in Montreal. They expect both data centers to be up later in the year. They are also launching support to new regions. NVIDIA has signed a partnership with other tech firms to bring GeForce Now to the country of Turkey. Saudi Arabia and Australia will be coming soon. I do believe this expansion and system optimization far outweighs the price increase. I hope GeForce Now's price increase goes to the right place so we know that the infrastructure will improve. We'll be on the watch for the continued improvements of GeForce Now, so make sure you subscribe to get the latest on GeForce Now and other cloud gaming services at the only place you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.